So welcome to the October webinar on how to make a great main page. As I mentioned, I'm Sarah Manley, a Director of Community Support at Wakia, and joining me today is George Albor, a Wakia Community Development Associate who focuses on our gaming wikis. Today we're going to overview what makes a great main page, tips and tricks to creating a main page, and then we're going to answer your questions. So again, feel free to submit them at any time. So let's start out by talking about what makes a great main page, what to include and what you might want to avoid. The main page is like a welcome mat for your wiki. It's the primary landing page for many of your visitors. So it's important to keep in mind, first impressions can be important and help to turn someone from a visitor to your wiki to an editor on your wiki. So what are the big picture things to keep in mind about having on your main page? We recommend your main page is easy to read, has clear navigation, includes a description, has a friendly tone, and that it updates from time to time. Here's an example from the RuneScape Wiki. Their main page is a good mix of text and images with rotating content such as featured image and article, upcoming events, and RuneScape news. At the top of their main page is a content section that links visitors to the most popular parts of the wiki. RuneScape has done a good job of providing a lot of information about their wiki in a clear and easy to read way. So what is good to include when you're just starting up or starting to redo your main page? We recommend beginning by adding a short intro paragraph that tells your readers what your wiki is about and what people can find there. Links your most important articles or sections of your wiki. This will help readers find their way to great content quickly. This is what RuneScape did at the top section of their main page. Images, adding images from your important articles or current events can be a great way to make your main page more attractive. You can add one main image, a gallery with multiple images, or a slider which will rotate between four images. Featured content is a fun way to keep your main page with fresh content. Many wikis do featured articles, images, quotes, recent events, or news relating to their topic. This is a great way for readers to learn about new content they may find on their they may not find on their regular visits to the wiki. And last, but equally important, are links to areas to find help. Lists of users and local wiki policies. Each wiki is a different community and most have different policies, so it's important to share these links on the main page. Here's the main page of our Community Central wiki. You can see that we use a slider on top with each, each image linking out to important news and updates. On the right, we have icons that link to important parts of the wiki, including forums, news, video tutorial, and help pages. Below that, we have a feed of blog posts and links to other major parts of the wiki. Our goal is to make it easy for visitors to the community wiki to easily find links to help and find out what the latest news on Wikia is. One important area to keep in mind when adding content to your main page is how well your main page does when searched for in internet searches. This is called SEO, or Search Engine Optimization. It is what companies like Google do to rank your wiki when people search for similar topics. The better your SEO is, the higher your wiki will appear in search results. Main pages are highly considered when search bots index your wiki. Here's an example of Wikipedia's ranking when someone searches for Han Solo. Having good SEO means you're likely to appear higher and people are more likely to click on the top results. We did a full webinar on SEO a few months back, and you can see a recording of it on our webinar page on the Community Wiki. So how can you improve your main page's SEO? The main area to consider are the links on your main page. We highly recommend linking to your most important keywords, such as characters, episodes, seasons, or whatever is the most popular words associated with your topic. Shoot to have about 100 links on your main page, with the most important links towards the top of the page. Search bar bots start at the top of the page, so whatever is there will be indexed first. Also, try not to link to the same page twice. This will delete the rank of, of that link. Here's an example from our EQ2 wiki. You can see they link to their top keywords, such as quests and zones, and that they appear at the top of the page with other important links. This is followed by the recent news section. Overall, their main page has about the recommended 100 links. It's also a good idea to add interactive and automatically updating content to your main page. 
This is an easy way to keep the content fresh without having to manually edit the page. What can you use? We recommend trying out polls in which you can poll your visitors on what they know or what their preferences are. You can also insert blog feeds, which will automatically pull in when new blog posts are created. Or if a big event is upcoming, you can add a countdown clock. Here are a couple of examples. The countdown clock is from the Call of Duty wiki, counting down till the release of their next game. The poll is from Glee and is asking users about a recent event on the show. And the blog list is from the show American Horror Stories and includes blogs from folks talking about the upcoming season. Another great addition to a main page is to link out to other places where your wiki is active, which could be on social media sites such as Facebook and Twitter, or by collaborating with other wikis on, or similarly topic websites. On main pages, it's possible to create a social media section where you can link or embed your Facebook fans as well as your wiki's Twitter feed. This is a great way to let users know where else you're active. Here you can see an example from the Twilight Wiki. A great way to promote your wiki also is to pair up with wikis who have similar topics to yours by setting up affiliations. What does that mean? Affiliate wikis share links with each other, often a web ring or list on their wiki. Here you can see a web ring from the, the Onomanga wiki, which spotlights different anime and manga wikis monthly. Sharing links is a great way to not only show your wiki to new people, but it can also help with your SEO. Don't feel like link sharing should stop at the edge of Wikia. Reach out to other fan sites around the internet and see if they want to affiliate with you as well. A final tip you can make to make your mate page more attractive and interactive is to add videos. Wikia recently created our own video library at video.wikia.com where you can access legally licensed videos to use on your wiki. Adding a featured video on your main page is a great way to showcase your wiki's topic. Here you can see an example from the Dishonored Wiki. Now you might be wondering, this all sounds great, but how do I actually add these to my wiki? George is now gonna walk us through how to edit your main page, include many of these elements. Hi y'all, I'm George, and I've been on Wikia since March of this year. And a lot of my job here involves creating and helping users to update their main pages. Here you see a screenshot of the main page you get when you first start a wiki. It includes just a few basic prompts, including a welcome space, a description section, an automatic activity feed, and a place for an image. If you want to start basic, just hit the edit button and our visual editor will load. From here, you update all of the basic elements listed. This is a great place to just get started. Now, main pages tend to be fairly complex. And as you build out your main page, you will likely need to use our source mode editor. The source editor allows you to add tags that will pull in content or apply a specific design to the text which you cannot do from the visual editor. Here's a screenshot of the same main page, but in source mode. Before you make further adjustments to the main page, it's important to know the sizes of the elements on most wiki pages. This will help your main page maintain consistency with the rest of your wiki, as well as ensure that your main page works well with advertisements. Wikia uses a grid layout, which appears in different arrangements on different pages, but has a standard pixel width that you can design around. These standard sizes are as follows. There is a 10 pixel margin at the left edge, a 670 pixels of space for article content, another 10 pixel margin, 330 pixels in the right rail, and a 10 pixel margin at the right edge. Here you can see a visual representation of the grid layout. The most important one to remember for the main page is the main column for article space, which is 670 pixels. On the main pages, this was referred to as the left column. The right column, which will contain the main page ad and on content pages, the right rail modules, is 330 pixels. So how are these columns defined? You need to add them. Here you can see the basic HTML tags that are used to define them. Each column has a unique start tag, such as main page left column start, but both use the same end tag, main page end column. We suggest you start one column, put everything you want there, then close that column before starting the other one. In a couple of slides, I will show you a step-by-step -step process on how to do this. As Sarah mentioned earlier, there are lots of content that you can pull automatically onto your main page. To do this, you also use HTML tags. Each different type of content has a different tag associated with it. Here you can see a table of the most popular tags. Activity feed, which shows the most recent editing activity on your wiki. Blog list, which pulls in recent user blogs. Gallery, which can be used to display images in numerous different ways 
polls that you can use to create community polls, and create box, which can be used to give users a quick way to create new pages. And last but not least, if you've ever looked at a complicated page on Wikia, such as a page with lots of templates or tables, you may have seen these three important HTML tags, div, br, and verbatim. Div tags allow for you to apply styling to the content. These can be used for text, images, galleries, or other elements. You will often see divs used to help make text bigger or define alignment. BR stands for break and is used to create a line break on the page. This can be helpful to use after an image, table, or gallery. Verbatim essentially applies the HTML code on a media wiki page with the same name directly on the page where the tag is used. This is like a template. The only difference is Verbatim can use all HTML that is not allowed normally. Wow, yes, that is a lot, I know, but don't worry, we'll show you these in action and next take you on a step-by-step -step on how to get started on using these tags on your wiki. So here you can see an example from the Summoner Wars wiki. At first, this may look a little daunting, but if you just read line by line, you should start to recognize the tags we just discussed. On the first line, you can see main page, left column, start, designating the start of the left column. This is followed by a div tag, which sets the style of the introductory text. Within this tag is the text that will be styled. As you can see, for most tags, you must open and close the tag, so you will see div listed at the start of the section, then at the very end. This tells the system what section of the page to apply this exact styling to. Now, if we look at the main page of the Summoner Wars wiki, you can see the tags in action. There's a clear left column, and the intro text stating the wiki name is larger and centered. This is all controlled by the HTML tags that have been added. One design element you may notice on most main pages are colored lines that break up sections of the wiki. On the Summoner wiki, this is used to define the About and Faction sections. These elements are templates called header templates that have been added to the page. They act as all templates do. A template was created in the template namespace, which includes its style, and when you add the template code, this style is pooled into the main page. You can define the specific words that appear, such as the example here. The same template can be used multiple times on a main page, but contain different titles, as you saw in the Summoner Wars wiki. The example here requires you to only write header title equals navigation, and the template with the text navigation is generated. Many wikis have these types of templates, so if you see one you like, ask the admin of that wiki about it. You can learn more about templates in our template videos on the help wiki. Okay, so I know this has all been a lot of information, so let's now walk you through starting with the default main page and building it out to include some of the design elements we discussed. So here you see the default main page you get when you first start a wiki. The first step you should take is to add main page column tags. Remember, there are two types, left and right, and each needs a start and end tag. Here at the very top, I added the left column start tag, then the welcome and wiki description text, followed by the end column tag. Next, the right column is started, then the default image, followed by the end column tag. As you can see here, adding these tags does not make a huge visual change yet. The published mode still looks the same, but now has the basic set to expand a page. Now let's start to add some color and content to this main page. Let's start by styling the welcome message and adding a template. We will do this in the left column, so in between the left column start and end tags. Almost all tags have a start and end to them, which you need in order for the tag to work. So let's start by looking at the line with the orange arrow. The text on the line says, welcome to the main page wiki. Around it are the div tags I introduced earlier. You can see within the div tag, I have set the style to align the text to the center and enlarge it to 150% of its current size. Here you could also change the color, add padding, as well as a number of other elements. Below this, the green arrow is pointing to a header template that I added and will define the about section. Here you can see the results of adding that code. You can see the welcome to the wiki is larger and centered, and now there's a defined about section header. These are both in the left column. Okay, now let's get some pictures on the main page. I really like the way slideshows look, so let's add one into the left column. To do this, click the slideshow button in the editor and add the images and captions you would like. Once this is added, you can also adjust in source mode. This is a quick way to make size and other adjustments. Slideshows are galleries, which you can see at the green arrow. The code states that those images are to appear in a slideshow positioned to the center and at a width of 660 pixels. That is our recommended width for main page galleries. 
The orange arrow here is also pointing out some helpful links I added to the main page. Many wikis add these links under their welcome message, since it helps new visitors to find links to important pages. One thing to note here is that I added a new div style for these links, since I do not want them to appear as big as the welcome text. So let's see what this looks like. Here you can see the results. The slideshow is below the About section, and the new links appear above it. Now let's move to focusing on the right column. To work on the right column, we need to move to the area between the start and end tags of the right column. Let's add more interactive and updating content, such as blogs and polls. To automatically add links from recent blog posts, you use the blog list tag. If you look where the orange arrow is, you can see I added the blog list tag and have defined a couple of parameters relating to what will be shown. Just like you can define style with blog lists, you can define what category to pull from, the length of the summary, and the title. Here we are pulling just from the blog post category, till titling it Community Blogs and giving a 200 character summary. Below that, at the green arrow, is the poll tag. And this is very simple. You simply add the poll tag, list first the title of the poll, then the options for voting. Once you are done, you use the close poll tag. Remember that this is all in the right column. So let's see how it looks with the left column. Now you can see both the left and right column have interesting content. One of the elements Sarah highlighted was adding featured content, an image, quote, user, or article. This is a great way to give recognition to an aspect of your wiki. To do this, you can use the same header template to call out the featured content. Here, I added a featured image, in this case, a screenshot of the main page of the Dota wiki, into the right rail. I simply went to the right rail section, added the header template with the title Featured Main Page, then added an image below. I made the image 320 pixels so that it fit in well within the right rail. Here you can see the results of adding that section. Now let's add one last element, a featured video. As Sarah mentioned, Wikia is working hard to offer more video content for our wikis, which can all be found in the Wikia video library on the video wiki. Once you find a video from there or one of the other supported video providers, click the Add a Video button and insert the URL of the video. You will be prompted to decide the size, caption, etc. I recommend adding it to the left column so that you can make the width bigger. Centering the video with a width of 500 pixels has worked well. I also recommend adding a header template above it, as we did with the featured image. OK, now let's take a look at how the whole page looks. Here's a screenshot of our new main page. You can see all of the elements that we added, which is just the start. We know editing can be tough, but don't be afraid to experiment. Talk to other wikis and try out new things. Main pages should be updated regularly and include recent news, events, and happenings on your wiki. Remember, you can't break a wiki, so try out new things and have fun. Awesome. Thanks, George. So that's the main part of our presentation. Uh, we covered the kind of big things around main pages because we know, as you could probably see, you can dive really deep. Um, and we want to give everyone kind of this overview of the main, the main areas to add. And from some of your questions, I can see we kind of covered some of those, but feel free to keep sending in questions. So, you know, um, we do have help on Wikia. So we have two help pages that kind of paint this out, help main page and help main page column tags. We also have a huge resource on community.wikia, which is called our community forums, where we have lots of really great advanced wiki editors who have made all sorts of amazing main pages. So feel free to ask questions. One thing I also highly recommend is if you see a wiki that has a great main page, talk to their admin. Sometimes all you have to do is copy over their template to your wiki and adjust it a little bit, and you can use the same great templates there. So now I'm going to go through a couple of questions. Um, some we answered, some we can um, head back and, and review. Um, so, and it'll be a mix of George and I um, going through these. So um, the just basic, how do I get better SEO? Um, I recommend watching, uh, it's probably four months back now, we did an entire webinar um, with one of our engineers on SEO, which you can find on uh, the community wiki uh, under webinars. Um, but basically, a lot of it has to do with your links, like we mentioned earlier, improving the links that you have um, and their location. So since we're doing main pages, I'm not going to dive into that, but I'm going to say go watch the last webinar. Um, we also have uh, a help page on increasing your kind of Google ranking. So I check that out. Um, how do you add blog feeds? Hopefully, um, this got asked before we covered that section, but I'm going to go back a few slides just for you guys to see. 
Um, so blogs are a really great um, option to add to your wiki because basically it's pulling in content that your community is adding. So here at the orange arrow, you can see um, the way to add the blog feed. So basically you're going to use the blog list tag. Um, the type is just kind of the style, putting a box around it. The summary is how much of the blog post is getting pulled in. So we said 200. So um, the screenshot here isn't amazing, but if you know you had three paragraphs, it would take the first 200 characters of that. Um, you can title the box, and then the category is the most important. So if in your community you do um, blog posts on different topics, and there's one that's you know maybe the admins blog or recent news blog category, uh, you can specify that. So you might want to, if blogs are really popular, pick out you know what is the most popular category. So admin posts or admin news or wiki news or news about your topic. Um, that's a great way to kind of pull that automatically in. And then you basically just have to do that close tag. So the close tags always have that backslash in them. Um, we, so should, we should say that when you first create a blog list on the main page, mm -hmm. unless you have blogs, nothing will show up. Mm -hmm. So if it looks like that you put in the correct tags, but it's not working, just make sure that there is a blog to actually pull them into. Yeah. So yeah, here we, for our demo, uh, George just did one blog. So that's why the, the box doesn't look too amazing right now. If we were to have five, you know, in there, you know, it, it might look a little better. Um, and you can limit how many posts show in there as that's well. Right. Um, so one question is, is there a good way to have, uh, to have the left and right columns balanced? I think what you mean by that is kind of having the left column be the same size as the right column. Um, we don't recommend you do that. And actually, this screenshot kind of shows it well. If you actually look at the screenshot within this screenshot of the Summoner Wars wiki, you'll see on the right, there's an ad. So the who's in your adventure dream team is actually an ad. Um, our standard ad size fits into that right column. So it's 330 by 500 usually, or sometimes a bit longer like it is here. So you can do, um, you know, uh, a 50-50 split, but then the ads will actually probably push down both columns. So the reason we have the left column be bigger is that it fits better with, with the standard ads that we have on the main page. So that's why we recommend you follow those columns of the larger left column and the, the smaller um, right column. Where can I look up all of these tags? So the, the help page that was mentioned here at the end, um, I will get back to that. The main page column tags has some. Um, as for every tag, I would look, I'm not sure, I think there is a help page called HTML tags. Um, and if there isn't, this actually inspires me to create one. <laughs> um, so I'd recommend checking out the help wiki. And if one happens to not work, send in a message to staff or, like I said, post on the community forum. That's a really great way um, uh, for uh, you to get questions from other users. Um, a question for George. So how do I, uh, the question is about header text. So looking back at this, welcome to um, the main page wiki um, using the div styles. Is there a way to add an outlined border to that header? Yeah. So there's currently a border now in the header. I think that's what you're talking about. And the way that you do that is you actually add that styling in the header template as well. So everything for the design of that header will be in the template. Um, some of that code gets a little complicated. Again, if you're new, I recommend checking out other wikis that have templates that you really want to use and just try copy pasting that into your own. And if you really want to explore, then as we mentioned earlier, there is a template page on the help wiki, which should give you some guidance about how to do that. Yeah. So if you if you go even to my wiki um, or any of the standard wikis, if you go to template colon header, um, you'll see and you can you can slightly see in this screenshot, there is a very thin kind of border around. Um, likely there is something that says border and gives a pixel number. The higher your your padding or is it padding or pixels padding. padding the higher the number the thicker it's going to oh, be yeah. right yeah. yeah so the higher the number usually the bigger it's going to look um so uh you would adjust it on the template not actually on the main page because again the template's getting pulled into the main page and also feel free to experiment and change some of those parameters and then take a look at how it looks on the main page um 
the question is, can I make a sandbox to test all this or can it only be done on a main page? So my recommendation is create a test wiki. So it, it, creating a wiki takes 30 seconds. Feel free to create a test one. I mean, you're looking at a screenshot actually of my test wiki. So um, it's easiest to test these, you know, in the live production environment. So I feel free to create one, you know, your name test or test in main page or mybeautifulmainpage.wikia.com, whichever you kind of want. We also have a, a shared page, um, test.community.wikia.com, that kind of the whole community uses as a testing space. So feel free to use that as well. Um, but go right ahead and create a test wiki um, to try out some of these designs. The only thing to kind of remember with that is if it doesn't, it's not going to pull, you know, if, if it's your test wiki, and you want to test what you know a real blog list looks like it's going to look a little different because you probably won't have test you know blog posts on your test wiki but you know just like we did here this is an example blog post we did that you can create some test you know content copy it over and that's a good way to kind of play around and this stuff definitely takes time you know it, it takes tweaking and it's definitely something that don't feel frustrated it can be a little daunting but just if you take it step by step um you'll you'll get to that result um, a couple more questions here. Feel free to keep sending them in um, as we go. And if you want me to go back to any particular slide or review anything that we said, that's also very easy to do. Um, how can you make a main page look good on mobile? So right now we don't have the mobile customizations. Um, it's basically a default skin that we use, but it is something that we're looking into allowing a bit more customizations on. So I will kind of share that feedback. Right now we just pull in parts of your content just to basically optimize the experience on a, on a mobile device. Um, another question was, how do I request videos for the video library? So the video library is open to anyone. So any video that you find there, feel free to grab and take back to your wiki. Um, requesting new content that you want. A lot of our content there is based off of content um, deals that we make with content providers. So um, we can't promise that just sending in an email will get us to be able to make that deal. But if there is something specific you want, you can get in touch with me and I can share that with our video team. We are currently trying to get a lot of new content. So if there's something that you know that you, you know, your wiki's on that you would love more videos on, um, just let me know. Um, I can't promise a quick turnaround, but I can promise to share the feedback that you're interested in kind of that area. But um, we have thousands and thousands of videos now. So um, feel free to please go to the video wiki and search around and see what, um, what you want and then just grab the URL and bring that back. We get and, more every day. Yeah, we get more every day. Um, we actually pull in from new partners every single day. Um, and it's important to remember that these are actually all legally licensed videos. And why that's good is one, it means that we have the rights to show it. And also, I don't know if anyone's ever noticed, but sometimes you put up a YouTube video and then it gets taken down from YouTube and then it looks broken on your wiki. None of these will get taken down from our video wiki, so they'll never look broken on your wiki. Uh... Any tips for creating polls? George. Yeah, uh, the polls, as we showed you earlier, are very easy to use. Uh, the one recommendation I have is I would try to have a good number of questions that, that really fit what you're looking to answer. If you start having too many answers, so for example, if you asked, what is your favorite main page on a wiki, and you listed 20 different options, that might not come off as well. You might not get as much involvement, and it might look a little weird on your main page. But other than that, it's actually really simple to use. So just ask the questions that you think your community would be most interested in, and you should get a good response. OK, cool. Um, someone was asking about JavaScript and PHP on main pages. Do you know anything about that? Um, I don't believe it supports it. OK. I mean, JavaScript generally is a file that applies to your entire wiki and can sometimes have right. settings that may apply to a certain element mm -hmm. um, that appears on your main page. Um, but I don't know, and someone else who is more experienced JavaScript out there in the world may know better than me. That would be a good forum question, actually. Um, but I don't think that there is necessarily a specific main page JS file that, that many wikis use. But 
if I am wrong, someone please tell me. They also, the more complicated you get, the harder it becomes for other users to help you out on your main page. Yeah, that's that's definitely something to remember is you don't want something overly complicated or overly heavy. So if you notice you go to your main page and it's taking forever to load, sometimes that can be because there's too many you know, things like extra CSS or JavaScript getting getting added there that can actually um, slow down the, the loading of the page. Um, do you have any recommendations on making main pages for answers wikis? Answers wikis aren't as widespread on Wikia um, anymore. So um, I don't have currently any specific recommendations. I would just say you can take many of the principles that we've listed here um, and apply them there. Um, I know there is also tags that allow you to pull in some of the, the answers Q and A's. So um, you'd have to check on the help page. I can't think off the top of my head what that tag might be. Um, but I think there you still would want, you know, what is this wiki about, some featured content, how to participate here. I think all of the stuff that applies to a regular wiki can also um, apply back to an answers wiki. Uh, I also have a question that asks, can you feature a top 10 list on your main page? So you may notice some wikis allow the creation of top 10 pages. Those are actually their own namespace. So you can't have them per se on your main page. However, what you can do is set up a poll system to poll your users to figure out what are their maybe top 10 creatures or top 10 levels in a game or, or something along those lines, and then using images in a table or another format create that list of top 10 on your main page. Okay. Yeah, so the, the specific top 10 feature isn't there, but there are ways that you can um, use the poll and other wiki features too. Yeah, to create it. an image portal. Okay. Um, there haven't been any other questions, so I'm going to give it a few more minutes and just say um, thank you to George and Trella for being here and helping out, um, both giving lots of great advice and manning the uh, question uh, channel. Tobias here from Community Central admins and chat lines who have been helping to answer the JS and CSS questions. Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> so also, um, which I don't have listed here specifically, but um, there's not only the forum on Community Central, but there's also the chat channel, uh, live chat um, with lots of great users. Um, and Estrella, if you could not hear her in the distance there, um, we have some really awesome chat mods members of VSCF and just community members who know a ton about all of this. So um, a thanks to them in advance for um, all of their help and um, feel free to go there and um, ask questions and, and get some real time feedback. Um, so I want to thank all of you for coming and attending. We had a great attendance today. It's really exciting to see. I know main pages can be tricky, so we appreciate all of you um, coming out to learn more. And um, you'll also notice that by registering, you will get a follow-up email that will ask you um, for a feedback survey. Please, if you have a moment, fill that out to just kind of let us know what we did well. Let us know if this time worked well for you. Um, I'm always trying to adjust to get the time to be when the most people can be around. So um, please fill out that survey so I can improve future webinars. And going once, twice, three times, no more questions. So. Thanks everyone for being here. Have wonderful weekends and wonderful editing on Wikia and see you on your wikis.